G'day YouTube, uh, Mick here. I thought I'd just um, go through my gear for the TRL trail in November uh, 2015. See a lot of these videos for the uh, for the AT and the uh, Pacific Crest Trail in the United States, but I haven't seen many for TRL, so um, thought I might give everyone a peek at um, what I'm taking with me. So what have we got? Um, so I'll start down here. So this is um, these are the trail notes that I'll be taking. These are uh, Kirsten Collins uh, from New Zealand uh, walked the TA last year and, and combined a really good map product with um, the, the track notes as well as the maps. So they're really handy, I'll be taking that. And just a, a little magnifying glass to, um, to, to make it easier to read. That'll be um, pretty super. My pack, uh, this is the Offspray Exos 58 and that's a 50 litre, uh, 58 litre pack. And uh, pretty good, um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It's lightweight. It has a uh, full, full frame, which is uh, ex external frame, which is fantastic, so a lot of support. Um, you can see here I've just added a few um, few little pockets. Um, this one will be for a water bottle, and this one will be for day-to-day -to -day, um, snacks and things. Uh, side pockets as well. And, and really uh, nice stretchy mesh on the sides for water bottles and on the front for, um, for some wet weather gear. Uh, it has a, uh, has a pocket which can go on the top, um, but I'm just not sure if I'll take that yet. I'll, I'll see how, how I go with um, just squeezing everything into, into, the, um, into the pack as it is. It has a, just a storm flap over the top. And inside that, um, I would either use a plastic bag as a liner bag uh, or uh, Cuban fibre uh, liner bag to go inside that as well. So uh, really lightweight, um, nice waterproofing. So that that should be that should get me out of trouble. Uh, over here, just uh, yeah, pretty pretty basic um, silk liner, just to go inside the sleeping bag, and that'll that'll just keep um, keep uh, oils and things out of the bag, keep it a bit cleaner. Um, so I'll start the trail with. Um, with this Western Mountaineering uh, Summer Light, I think it is. So it weighs about half a kilo. And uh, I'll just see how we go with uh, with the South Island. I might swap that out to um, something a bit heavier. So yeah, my sleep system, this is uh, the, the rest of it here. Uh, so I, I cut down uh, uh, Sol uh, Thermarest mat. Um, I'll use that as a sip pad as well. Six Moon Designs. Uh, Luna Solo uh, tarp tent. It's, it's basically a, a single skin tent, a uh, single skin tarp with, with some bug uh, netting just to to keep keep sand flies and things like that out. Uh, underneath the tent, just a, a Tyvek sheeting. Again, really lightweight, uh, and, and and that'll um, allow me to just spread my gear if I need to go underneath the tent. A uh, little Cedar Summit. Uh, blow up pillow, really handy for, for a good night's sleep for, with, a, with a nice pillow. And just some chamois as well for uh, to do with condensation inside the tent. Uh, these are my, my tent stakes, about 10 of those. And uh, yeah, my toilet trowel, it's just a, a snow, snow peg that um, I've just modified a bit, and just hammered it down, flattened it out. Uh, yeah, toilet paper and uh, hand sanitizer. Uh, this will be my food bag, Cuban fibre again, uh, fairly large capacity. I'll be carrying about um, yeah, five to seven kilos of food, I, I think. Not quite sure. We'll see how that goes. Uh, onto my water system. Uh, so I've got, I'll be carrying uh, just lightweight bottles, uh, two on the side of the pack, one on the front of the pack. And, I, and I've gone with these, um, these lids here with... Um, just the, the flip top, I can, I can use this with my uh, filtration system just to, to black back flush the, uh, the filter. Uh, so I'm using the, the Sawyer Mini uh, squeeze filter system where uh, the, the bags, uh, filtration bags, uh, dirty water into those and um, screw onto the top and the bag gets squeezed through the filter. And I've just added a, a little section of the straw there on the front just so that it's a, it's much easier to um, to, to fill the bottle. Um, alternatively, 
I can use these for dirty water if I need to or just any any bottle screw on the top and filter through so that's um, that's yeah really lightweight um, very happy with that uh, this, this is my uh, a pretty basic first aid kit and repair kit basically just in here uh, some medications um, think things like um, and antihistamines, um, some Panadol, or Paracetamol, fiddle bandages, uh, blister kit, that sort of thing, and my repair kit, uh, pretty basic. Uh, small razor blade in there, spare backup uh, torch if I need that. Uh, some bottle lids, really handy to, to, to carry those. Spare batteries, uh, and some repair kit for, for Gore-Tex, uh, etc. So they'll go inside that. Um, that pack and stay pretty handy close to where I am. Uh, onto my oh, this this is just a, a contact lens kit. I wear I wear contacts, so uh, pretty important to have um, uh, clean eye health. Um, so yeah, just spare, spare contact lenses and some solution. And yeah, moving on. Uh, so my Diddy bag. Uh, just basically a bag with lots of um, odds, odds and ends and, and bits and pieces that um, just keep everything together, essentially. Uh, so in here, just a, yeah, a few uh, a few hygiene things. Um, so some Aqu Aquamira water treatment as a backup there. Some uh, Hydropel. Um, what have I got in the chapstick? Uh, some zinc. Uh, wet wipes. And uh, yeah, toothpaste, toothbrush in here. Uh, marker pen, always really handy. And a pen, yeah, again handy. Uh, there's just a couple of bread bags, and I'll, I'll use those for uh, if I've got wet feet at uh, wet shoes at night, and just uh, need to have a, a quick scout outside the tent. Um, yeah, bread bags really, really handy to keep you keep your socks dry. Uh, this is yeah my my Petzl um, E light uh, headlamp. I'll I'll start with this and just see how we go. Uh, it is quite small. It takes a it takes a button battery, so I'm not quite sure how long that'll last. But um, I'll um, yeah I've, I've got a, uh, a another torch to swap out to if I need to. But uh, really handy, different functions. Uh, it's got the red for at night. Uh, just so you're not waking your uh, fellow campers up if you're wandering around at night. Uh, yeah, Z light. Um, just a yeah, quick chamois. Handy for wi wiping sweat, that sort of thing. Uh, spare Bic lighter. Uh, compass, pretty straightforward. Just the standard silver base plate compass. Uh, some sunscreen. Uh, small pocket knife. Uh, bug net for uh, for sand flies and, and mozzies that sort of thing and stick pick uh, camera mount so that that just goes onto the end of my trekking pole and uh, camera screws on top there so that's uh, that's pretty much it for that on to my cook kit um, homemade pot cozy uh, that's just to, to keep the pot warm and just to make it easier to, to, to grab if there's um, if, if the pot is hot, long handled um, spoon. Well, I've gone this time with this with the smooth edge, um, the, the the section that you put in your mouth. It's actually it's a bit nicer, and with um, just with the spoon, it gives you a lot, a lot of reach into into bags. Uh, I do a lot of um, uh, eating out of Ziploc bags and that sort of thing. Boil boiling water, putting it into the bag, rehydrating food, and eating eating straight out of the bag. And so that, that will allow me to get right down to the bottom nice and easy. Um, not sure if I'll take this. This is just a, a, a cosy that I made for uh, meals like uh, backcountry cuisine uh, where I can now uh, boil water, uh, put, put the water into the, the bag that comes with the backcountry cuisine and um, just to, to let it sit and do its thing, uh, I can put the meal straight in into that just to keep it warm. 
while it's hydrating. Uh, this is just a small bottle of uh, methylated spirits that's for my stove. And so I'll get on to in a minute. Not sure if I'll take this. This is just a, a small bottle that I can use to, to rehydrate food uh, if I need to. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fairly lightweight, but yeah, not sure about that one. Don't know if I'll take that. Uh, my cook kit itself, uh, two piece um, titanium pot and, um, and fry pan. This, uh, I'll explain that in a little bit. Uh, yeah, quick, uh, just small spatula. I do like having things like pancakes and, um, and uh, potato fritters and that sort of thing. So that, that'll just help me uh, lift those out. Small plastic cup. Uh, I'll put some, put some measurements on there just to, to help me there. Uh, just a, a rag to, for clean up. Small big lighter. Uh, just a, a little measuring cup for fuel. Uh, fancy feast cat stove, um, cat food stove. So that's um, that's my stove. Uh, metho in and uh, pot straight on top and uh, ball away. Uh, this is the other part of that. And just a, a homemade uh, windscreen to, to go around. Go around my uh, my stove and and the pot um, just sits in there nicely. A few little air holes, but yeah. It's, um, from an, an, an aluminium baking tray. Uh, yeah, so as I said, said before, I'll explain this. This is uh, just a, a quick uh, homemade double boiler that uh, that I've created, and uh, th this allows me to do uh, baking or steam baking on the trail. So. Things like muffins, breads, uh, small cakes. Uh, essentially, this just unwinds and sits uh, in the bottom of the pot. Um, well, I won't spread it out now, but it sits nicely. And just a, a small base plate, again, made out of a baking tray. Um, that, that just uh, sits inside. And um, yeah, cake in a bag or in a, in a small silicon mold, straight in there, uh, lid on. 10 minutes time you've got some muffins so yeah how good is that they're great in the back country uh, on to some uh, technology and other bits and pieces uh, it's basically my wallet uh, Cuban fiber wallet from um, from z uh, passport fits in there nicely um, again yeah lightweight nice and waterproof uh, good to go Technology wise, I've got a little bit of technology and we'll see, see how we go with some of this um, Not quite sure very keen to take um, my iPad um, to, to for, for video editing on the fly and uh, and updating my blog as well um, Yeah, mickbeckers.com and follow the links through to the TA uh, my TA blog there um, So that'll be interesting. We'll see how that goes spot device just to um, to let friends and family know where I am and that I'm safe. Um, iPad mini, headphones. iPad mini, I've loaded that up with um, a lot of uh, mu oh, music that I love, obviously, but um, uh, what are they called? Books, um, spoken, <laughs> I forget what they're called. Um, book, books that are read out. Um, yeah, I'll correct that here <laughs> on the video. Um, Solar charger, uh, solar panel that'll just sit off the back of my pack on sunny days. That's just to keep everything, um, keep batteries charged up and my devices. And um, yeah, pretty solid device um, for an iPhone. You could probably get uh, four iPhone chargers out of that, or two iPad chargers, um, let alone the the other other small stuff. Um, so ten thousand milliamps. Think for that one. Um, see how that goes. It's a little bit heavy, so I might um, might end up sending that ahead or sending that home. Not quite sure. GPS um, again. See how that goes. Um, I've loaded, I've got an SD card with um, the the map toaster uh, topos, um, so really handy to, to see where you are. It has the the TR, TR Rail Trail loaded on, and that'll just let me keep track. Uh, I'm bound to get lost at some point, so. Um, yeah, handy to have. 
Small uh, Canon power shot, D30, uh, waterproof, uh, or to a certain certain extent, uh, 25 meters, I think. So not nice and durable. That'll sit in my uh, pack pocket and just be nice and handy. Recharger and adapters for um, for the different devices that I'll, I'll have. Um, some SD cards, spare batteries, and this little device here is essentially just to um, allow me to take the, the SD cards out of uh, my GoPro, which I'm filming on, GoPro 4, and um, mini tripod there. Uh, take the SD cards out of, out of the camera and GoPro, load into that, and straight into my iPad, so direct um, video editing on the fly. Um, just to, to save some memory with uh, with cameras and uh, and SD cards, what I will be doing um, this is just a, a quick sample of a, a bounce box that I'll send ahead to myself. Uh, See, so in that bounce box, in that in that bounce box, I'll have um, actual battery recharger itself um, so for when I'm in town and and connected to mains power, and just a, a media hard drive as well so that I can uh, transfer uh, bulk videos um, from SD cards and my iPad straight onto that so that I don't lose anything and that I can free up memory from um, uh, off, off the other devices. Uh, yeah, like I said before, uh, I'll see how I go. I've got um, a, another head lamp which I'll send ahead and potentially swap that out if I need to. Um, just not sure yet. And yeah, bounce box, um, spare trail runners, and for the South Island, some uh, long, longer gaiters and rain pants. Uh, I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so now off to clothing. It's my shell clothing here. Uh, Marmot precip jacket. Um, yeah, pretty, pretty sturdy. I think that'll be fine for the for the North Island. Um, we'll see how we go with rain on the South Island. It gets much colder and, and a lot more rain. I may swap that out for a, a, a heavier uh, jacket that I have. Similar to uh, that, the pants I just described. I'll, I'll be starting with a, a rain skirt. So essentially just a silk nylon skirt that wraps around uh, your lower half. Cover my legs. Uh, um, but See how that goes for the North Island. If if it's um, if I need something a bit sturdier, I, I will swap out to uh, the the Gore-Tex pants that I just just saw in that the bounce box. Uh, some pretty light rain mitts from z -Packs. Forget what the model is called, but um, yeah, yeah, you never know. So that's basically my shell gear. Day-to-day uh, -day gear. Um, just yeah, a cheap pair of sunglasses, uh, hat, um, so this is the, the O&R Outdoor Research Sun Runner hat, uh, not going to stay white for very long I don't think, and that has a detachable uh, neck flap, so if I'm walking long beach stretches and in the sun, I'll, I'll definitely use that, that will be handy. Um, right, what have we got? Uh, another Cuban fibre bag. This is essentially just for, for spare clothes and, oh sorry, for my jacket, down jacket to keep that um, keep that dry, pretty important. Uh, it's just a, a wind shell, really lightweight. Uh, Montaigne is the company that makes that. Mountain Hardware Ghost Whisperer uh, down jacket with the hood. Uh, can't really show you here, but this is, um, it weighs about 250 grams, so it's quite light, and it just, it just packs up into nothing. Um, yeah, it's pretty fluffy at the moment. Insulation layer. Um, yeah, some, some basic thermals, uh, icebreaker um, uh, leggings and, and top. And day to day... Um, icebreaker boxes, merino. Most of my clothing is merino. I just uh, it's it's lightweight. It's um, it you, you don't really get a lot of stink even after wearing it for ages, which is great on the trail. 
but not sure how we go durability wise. So um, this is a, just a, a short sleeve merino t-shirt. <coughs> Uh, long sleeve option, yeah, probably you'll yeah, see how we go. I'll probably you know swap them out day to day. But uh, if I need long sleeves, I've, I've got that option. Um, merino socks and just zip off pants. Um, Columbia, I think they are. What's that? Oh, it's just a piece of um, piece of spectra cord for whatever clotheslines or um, staking down my tent. I need to a bit more. Footwear, I've gone with uh, La Sportiva uh, Wildcats. This is my, my second pair of these, I really love them. Um, light, lightweight, so on the feet, really light. Doesn't matter if they get wet, they drain really, really well with this mesh. And uh, as you saw in the bounce box, um, sticking with La Sportiva for additional trail shoes, but uh, a different model, I've gone with the Raptor for my bounce box, so uh, I think probably a thousand K or so for a pair of shoes, so I'll, yeah, go through um, go through at least two pair, possibly three pair along the, the trail. Uh, Dirty Girl Gators, um, they just basically cover cover the ankles, strap onto the back of the uh, the shoe there, and just to, the, they cover the entrance to the shoe just to stop small stones and things getting in, into your shoes. Uh, spare clothes, yeah, there's not not a much spare clothes. This is pretty much it. Uh, a pair of uh, thin chalate gloves uh, for cold mornings. Uh, icebreaker merino hat, keep the head warm. Uh, really important. Uh, spare pair of merino socks, and this is a pair of liner socks. I'll, I'll see how we go with these in gingy. Um, so the toe socks. Uh, I'll, I'll pair them up day to day and just, um, yeah, may send them home, not quite sure. Uh, it's my, my clothes bag, another Cuban fibre bag. And what? Uh, sleeping clothes. So, nice thick pair of um, socks there, just to, to keep feet dry. It's really important at night to, uh, to ha have some dry socks. Um, and that's, that's all they'll be used for, just sleeping. And that's it, won't be walking in those. Uh, spare pair of boxes and merino t-shirt uh, to, to sleep in. Again, just to, to uh, prolong the, the, the life of uh, my, my sleeping bag. Uh, clean clothes at night to, uh, to, to sleep in. I will be taking some town clothes. Um, so basically just a, a, a pair of shorts and a shirt. And that's it. Uh, if I'm really grubby uh, and heading into town, I'd, I will have something to, to change into if I need to. And Crocs, um, yeah, camp shoes, uh, lightweight. Um, they are a bit bulky, so um, well, yeah, again, I see how these go. I might, might swap them out with um, so just thongs, flip-flop. And um, yeah, but they are light. And, and covered toes, so I can use these for river crossings if I need to. But, um, Generally, we'll just be walking with um, the Wildcats. And uh, just a quick postscript. Oh, I did leave out uh, my walking poles. So, uh, yeah, my lecky poles. Um, lecky support uh, hikers, trampers pretty well with uh, spare parts, etc. And um, it's it's a pretty easy mechanism to use. So, um, easy to repair. Um, quick adjustments. Uh, nice and easy. So, yeah, my trekking poles. Ciao. So that's it, guys. Uh, that's all my gear. Gonna fit in my pack. Um, generally, I think my base weight's around uh, just just under or just over. Sorry, just over seven hundred grams. Seven uh, hundred kilo. Seven hundred kilo. Seven kilo. We'll try that. And and in total, I I reckon I'll be carrying about uh, with food and water, and consumables like fuel. Um, We'll be carrying about about around 15 kilo. But uh, that's it. Um, gear for my TR rower trip in November 2015. I uh, hope you got something out of that.